Ace Dampers, Gainer again, and I'm coming back to show you my version of Week 10 Sketch. Um, you'll get the gist when you see my cards. So I've turned mine into a male card this time because I know you ladies are struggling out there to get male cards. And uh, so I turned this one into the male card. So it called for spots, stripes, spots, and, and downward stripes. They're supposed to be diagonal, but I thought I'd just switch up these papers a little bit. I didn't quite get the judging right on this one, but I will space them out a little bit better this time. It called for a banner like this, a button, and some other little ones as well. And I just think it's really, really cute. And I've turned this one into a Father's Day card. Nothing in the center yet, um, but maybe we'll think of something as we go along. But it's so quick and so simple to make. And it's a great way of, you know, joining in. So I've got four strips of DSP. Two are the same. We're just using the opposites. And the same with this one. We're just using the opposites. So that's all you're going to need. They're seven eighths of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch. My card is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And I scored and folded it at four and one eighth. Just going to give that a good burnish on both sides. And I've got a piece of Whisper White which measures. Um, oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a darling. Thank you so much. This measures two and three quarters by three and seven eighths. Oh, while I've got the pencil out, uh, the ruler out actually, I want to find the centre, which is one and three eighths. Which is right there, and then we're going to just cut from corner to corner. Now we've got that marked, we can just punch in my guillotine. Mr. Boyce is a darling making me a cup of coffee. Ooh. You know, they say just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> so I'm going to put my point right on there with that little dot right on there. Slice. Oh, I moved a little touch, so get that right on there, and that right on there, and slice. There we go. So there's that little piece, and all I can do now is just turn it over. Disregard those if you don't need those. And what I used to get the holes in the top. Here, so I could thread my twine through. I just use the largest hole on my cropper dial, and I just went in and guessed roughly where the corner was. There we go. Bit set. Cute. I'm just going to grab my rubber because I decided to turn back over because the holes look better at the front than they do at the back. <laughs> so we'll stamp on there in a minute. It's just so simple to make this card is. And now we're going to add our pieces. Like I say, seven eighths of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to line this up, keep it as straight as possible. I do like joining in with these. I'm going to leave slight, a slightly bigger gap this time. Maybe not that big, but then I turn it round, and I'm going to add my last piece so I can judge my other piece. Trying to like keep those lined up, and then I should have a yay a decent sized gap in between there. I might. Pull that. Oh, no, that's not going anywhere. 
you could have sat with a ruler and marked them all out but it's a handmade card so keeping them pretty level there we go that's a bit a lot better placement for me i think maybe i should have taken that back just a little frack doesn't matter like i say a handmade card so our glue is out i'm going to fetch in my little die cut machine i've got one of those little round circles and the wooden elements left and if you notice under here I've got that shield because it asks for leaves but I, I thought with this theme going on I will not have leaves but I will have uh, the, this cresty shield and I, this die cuts out three of those little golf balls and I did put a shim over it just to help once it's in And then come back. Perfect. Static. There we go. And this is all from the clubhouse set, which I think is adorable. So let's pop our little golf balls out. Gotta be really careful with this. There we go. Perfect. Love it. I might come back and do a female version and add a bit more than just a shield and some golf balls. <laughs> so that will be glued down shortly, and so will these. Let's just pop this to one side for a minute and fetch in our. Knight of Navy ink. And I've lined that up with that line so my little thingy is running down. So don't need a lot on this. And align that line up then it, with this point on my. It was a little bit on the wonk, but it could be a windy day. <laughs> They're not all perfectly straight, are they? Give this a clean. Perfect. It, it is quite a dark ink, and I don't want to touch because I can see it's still glistening. Mmm. Oh, do you know he makes the best cup of coffee ever? Again, I've lined this up with the word father along those lines. Just going to centre this up just in between those two holes. Oh, lovely. Nice. It's a little bit dark on one side, but it's a brand new ink pad, so. That's nice and clean. what we could do because I didn't stamp any, anything on the inside of the card let's grab this and we give this a little stamp on the inside so let, while that's drying I don't want to smudge anything whoops oh my goodness just got the dropsies so I might just get a piece of scratch paper actually Thinking and then stamp, stamp. See what I mean? It's getting whoa. I think the third one. So stamp, stamp. Yeah, you don't want it overpowering, but that's cute. Let's do it to the inside of this one. 
stamp, stamp, and stamp. That is really cute. Love it. Now we can fetch this in. Get this like a clean as well. Likes to do it as I'm going along. I don't like to stain my uh, stamps very well. Perfect. So that's the ink away. I can still see that's glistening a little bit. So I'm just gonna blot it on my scratch paper. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. We need three. And I'm going to pop this on my card after I've threaded my thick baker's twine. Sit this way, I want it. And then I'm going to grab my scissors, keeping the distance roughly outside. Just snip off what I don't need. And then grab my glue. Just gonna pop this, it doesn't take long to go off, and it does dry clear. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. Squash it through those fibres. They're in place, but I can still flip this up and remove those. And then we can judge where we want this. say roughly about here and then flip this back over and before we press we can line this up straight to me. Cute. And they're going off lovely. And then I'm just going to add one there. One there. I did have a third one but I then decided to put the little wooden element over the top. So I might just add another one over here. Perfect. And then our wooden element. Now there's nothing on this, so it, I wanted it to look like a button. So on I popped. There we go, it's going off already. Put the 
glue down my glue when I can. There we go. Now I'm covered in glue. So I just got a, a permanent marker pen. I coloured over it. Just give that a second or two to dry, it doesn't take long. Now this is with my cup of coffee. And then I just used my white gel pen. It does seep through a little bit, but I think it's cute. They're good at drawing circles, I'm afraid. Just going around the outside. And then I'm just going to draw my buttonholes. <laughs> How cute is that? That is so sweet. And I think it's seeping through a bit more. You can go back over it once it's dry. Rain is lashing down here. How sweet is that? Love it. And if you make a pig's ear, just go back over with your permanent marker and do it again. <laughs> Perfect, there we go. There's my version of this week's sketch. How cute is that? Lovely little golf ball card in the inside. There it is, quick, simple, and a mail card. <laughs> so, like I say, watch this space. I might come back with a female version. So, I hope you like. I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be brilliant. And if you're new to my channel or enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. And if you want to see what I post every single day, don't forget the bell. You'll get a notification and then you can come and see what I've put up tomorrow. So thank you for watching and thank you for being here. Till next time. Bye.